it's so fascinating that I've, I've heard agile coaches and agile trainers talk about the daily scrum being, it's not a status update. Well, dadgum it. Those three statements are very <laughs> status updatey, you know? Yeah. So you can't yeah. tell me that it's a, not a status update, uh, but at the same time prescribe that I'm supposed to follow these three questions. So Welcome, everybody, to another episode of Real Agile RBS. I'm your host, Peter Saddington, with my great colleague and friend, Bob Hartman, at Agile Bob. We love answering all of your frequently asked questions around Agile, and today we're going to be taking one that many of you guys know about, the three questions in the Daily Scrum. So let's just put it out there. Are the three questions from the Daily Scrum, is it Real Agile or BS? What say you, Bob? Well, let's, uh, let's define what we're talking about first. So in Scrum, obviously we have a daily Scrum and during that daily Scrum, you're supposed to ask three questions or at least your, the old way was to ask these same three questions, which were, what did you do yesterday? What are you gonna do today? What's blocking you? What are impediments that you have? Those kinds of things. And that's been done that way forever. Mm. Uh, the bottom line is that I think you can be agile doing that, but my, my problem has always been, Peter, as a person in the daily scrum, I always had to connect what people were saying to each other. So for example, if you said you worked on X mm. and somebody else said they worked on Y, I would have to connect that you actually worked on the same thing. Mm. They were just different parts of the same thing. And I'd have to make that connection. And that was hard for me if I wasn't working on that piece. So what I found was people were getting pretty disengaged during the daily scrum. So I'm actually I'm going to be point blank here and blunt and say, I've actually started teaching that that's the way it used to be, but perhaps a better way is to do something that um, our colleague uh, Richard Lawrence calls letting the scrum board talk. And basically you say, hey, for this item on the top of our backlog, what happened on it yesterday? And whoever worked on it would say what they did. So now I have the context of what they worked on. Exactly. Who's going to, what's going to happen on this item today? And then I actually make the third question very specific. Why can't this item be finished today? Mm -hmm. Because that's when you really find out your impediments. Why can't it be done today? Maybe we don't have enough people. Maybe we're missing something. But the point is to make people swarm on those items. I only go down two or three items. So we're making sure we're limiting our work in progress. And I find that people are much more engaged during the daily scrum. Am I, am I doing what scrum had originally described for the daily scrum? No. But Scrum is only one implementation of agility and the rules of Scrum are just, they're, they're a framework. They're not, they're not something you have to follow 100% every single time. Just don't color outside the lines. <laughs> I don't think by changing the questions in, in the daily Scrum, I'm coloring outside the lines. I think I'm trying to get alignment among people. I think I'm trying to help them plan their daily work together. I think they're trying to make sure that they're going to be the most effective that they can be for that day. So I think I'm living up to that by doing it this way. And just the results I get from teams is just tremendously more positive. So I'm going to say changing the three questions can be real agile. If you change them to, hey, what'd you do yesterday? And you know, hey, what'd you have for dinner? And you know, what'd you have for breakfast? Then no, it's not going to be real agile. But as long as you're changing the questions to maintain alignment, to maintain the effectiveness for the day, and to help everybody understand how they're going to work together for the day, I think that, that's a, that you can change the three questions to be whatever you want. Oh, man. I, I'm really, Bob, I, I tell you, I'm really happy that you, you said all that because that's, that's basically where I am. When it, whenever, I, whenever I go over the daily scrum, I kind of talk about it tongue in cheek because it's so fascinating that I, I've heard agile coaches and agile trainers talk about the daily scrum being it's not a status update. Well, dadgum it. Those three statements are very <laughs> status updatey, you know? Yeah. So you can't yeah. tell me that it's a, not a status update, uh, but at the same time prescribe that I'm supposed to follow these three questions. So that's generally how I enter into the conversation around daily scrum is that it is not a daily stand up status update. It should be more around three things, which I like to highlight, alignment, engagement, and context. The key at the end of the day is to make sure that the team is aligned. Are we working towards the same goal? And so one of the things that I bring up there is, yeah, use a wall board. I love the fact that you said that. A wall board gives us alignment. It gives us context to what the heck you're actually talking about. Because I've heard, I, I can't 
uh, there's been so many occasions where I've been standing in a daily standup with a client and literally a developer will say something to the effect of, I worked on ticket issue 552, today I'm working on ticket issue 553, no blockers. It's like, not only am I not aligned, I don't know what the hell you're talking about because what is ticket issue 552 and, and there's no context to it and who might need to help you with ticket issue 552 because no man, no woman in software development is an island. We have to engage with each other. We have to integrate with each other. We have to test together. We have to work together. And so that's what I always focus on is alignment, engagement, and context. And using a wall board is my best answer so far when it comes to a daily scrum. And what's great is now that we're in this new world of sorts, this new reality, you can use a digital wall board for that. You can do that on a share screen and say, hey, I'm working on this highest priority. This is the context around it. I wanna make sure that I reach this goal today and are there any things that are not allowing me to achieve it? And so you can actually state all those things about what am I working on? giving context, making sure everyone's aligned on it, and making sure that other people know that, hey, I'm working on this and I might need Susie or Sally or Jim to help me with completing it today. And you can do all of that in less than about a minute and a half each. And so you can still make that 15 minute time box. So I'm in complete alignment with you. I'm glad that we are. I've had a lot of heartburn over the years around the Daily Scrum because it's you, you want to stay within kind of the, kind of the, the overall intent right, of Scrum, but at the same time, you don't want to go too far out of bounds, but at the same time, you want to make sure with the daily Scrum that everyone's aligned and engaged and giving context to what they're working on. So I think it is more than appropriate. It's a long-winded way of saying, but I think it's more than appropriate that you can change the three questions as long as you're effective with, with your team in doing so. Is that fair? Yeah, I think so, Peter. And, and you, you brought up something interesting about the, the whole concept of it being a status meeting. And I think we'd be remiss if we didn't uh, cover that just a little bit further. I think what, one of the ways that I describe it to people in my classes is the questions sound very statusy, mm. but we're not trying to get status from it. We're trying to learn something different. And so when I say, yesterday I worked on X, Y, Z, what I'm really saying to the group is, yesterday I did this and I learned everything there is to know about that particular item. So mm. if you need to know that, I'm the person you should talk to. Today, I plan to work on ABC. What I'm effectively saying is, I'm a, it's effectively me asking a question to the group saying, if any of you know anything about that that can help me, let me know today. Mm. So I think when we look at it as a way where we're saying, this is my knowledge I've gained, this is the knowledge I need, rather than this is what I did and this is what I'm going to do, I think that starts to change it away from a status a meeting and starts to make it be a little bit more engaging for people, even if they do use those original three questions. The third question, of course, is not statusy at all. What's what's blocking you is is an actual item, mm. and that's really really for the scrum master to say and dig into it later and say, let's what can we do about this particular item? But yes, changing the questions totally can be real agile. Keeping the same questions can be real agile. Just use it effectively. Don't don't make it be a status meeting where everybody says, yesterday I worked on X, today I worked on Y, no blockages. Yesterday I worked on X, today I worked on Y, no blockages. How many, how many daily scrums have you and I been in where people just, I call it the monotone daily scrum, right? If that's you, you need to do something different. So contact us in some way, read our blogs, lots of good information out there about how to make better daily scrums. For sure, absolutely. And I'll repeat that, guys. Let us know. Let us know if we can help. Read our blogs. Check us out on agileforall.com. Obviously, leave a comment below if you have an idea or a better way of doing this. We're two dudes with two ideas and two perspectives, but certainly there's more out there. So feel free to let us know. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. Cool.